Oh hi there, Dan Amrick from oneofstories.com, and you know I haven't gotten a chance to do an unboxing video yet, but the team at Cabela's gave me the opportunity today. This is going to be the Top Shot Elite, which is the new light gun that comes with Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2011. Uh, you may have seen this for the Wii, they put it out last year, it was a big hit, you put the Wii remote into the shell. This time it's its own fully independent wireless controller for both 360 and PS3. Now this is the final unit, it's going to look a little bit prettier when it gets to the stores, but this is actually straight from the factory, this is how we get them. Uh, it comes with instructions, obviously that's a good idea, but uh, you know what, I'm going to kind of walk you through it anyway, so it doesn't really matter today. Uh, four main parts to the Cabela's Top Shot Elite. Uh, the boring one first, this is the sensor bar. Without the sensor bar, gun doesn't know where you're shooting. Uh, you put it either on top or below your television, sort of just like the, uh, the, the Wii version of this. Uh, has a power button on the side and a little timeout button uh, switch. For one hour, two hour, three hour, that's when it goes to sleep. If you want to play for an hour, set it to an hour. If you want to play for two hours, it turns itself off whenever you want it to turn itself off. Two AA batteries in there. Two AA batteries also go in the Top Shot Elite itself, down here at the bottom of the grip. Uh, this has everything that a regular controller has, but more firepower. Uh, back here at the thumb is the right analog stick, and because this is the PlayStation 3 version of the gun, the uh, X and O buttons, those are the A and B buttons, I think, on the 360 edition. Up here where you put your, uh, your other hand is the other analog stick, and the square button, and then the triangle button, and the D-pad rests underneath your fingers just below the shotgun pump. Uh, over here you have the select and start buttons and the PlayStation logo button that takes you to the menu. Also the four little LEDs that tell you which gun this is in the, in the uh, scope of your PS3 and that it's synced up correctly are down there hidden at the back so you can see them when you're looking down the gun. This little plastic black doohickey here is actually a safety release for the stock. You can't have a proper hunting gun without a stock. So uh, the stock itself is adjustable. Once you get it on there, you have several different uh, settings, so you can figure out whichever one is most comfortable for you when you're playing the game. What is a hunting rifle without a scope? Not as much fun. Uh, <laughs> the Top Shot Elite comes with a scope. You can adjust where you want it to be down the travel of the barrel of the gun, make it sync up with the stock as you see fit. Uh, there are no like LEDs, there's no night vision or anything. What there are, is is a red lens and a tube and some crosshairs printed on it. So when you're looking at the TV screen, it filters out the color and you can just focus on exactly what your target is, the outline of your prey, the way a real hunter would. Uh, so that's pretty much it. It's very adjustable, it's lightweight, it feels pretty comfortable. It was a really big hit on Wii last year, so it's new for 360 and PS3 this year. Comes out October 26th as part of a bundle with Dangerous Hunts 2011 for the low, low price of $79.99. If you want to get your hands on this before the game comes out, you can. There is a national truck tour going on right now, visiting Cabela's stores and visiting GameStop stores throughout the country. Uh, go to oneofswords.com. I have the schedule up there of where it'll be. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. I've talked to some people who have been there. I have not gone myself, but uh, it's all themed out. It's all tricked out, and you do get a chance to get hands-on and try the brand new Top Shot Elite for yourself for free, and it's fun. What else are you doing this weekend, right? So for more information, oneofswords.com. I'll keep you posted on the latest with Dangerous Hunts 2011. And until then, I'm going to go do some shooting. I hope they announce Cabela's Zombie Hunter.